living in Thailand for those few months and just kind of having a home to stay in really got me lazy. I spent two and a half days like just sitting around like a bum. We are near the Domon airport, I think. So we're gonna, in the morning, I gotta be there like 6 a.m. or something like that. So I got, I always get a hotel like right next to the airport. We gotta hang out with uh, an old friend of ours from Phuket. And that was really fun. I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't black out, but I, I was very blurry at the end of it <laughs> that night. And somehow I got home at like 4 a.m. It's always cool hanging out with old friends like that. And that's the cool thing about traveling is you really get to meet a lot of people. It builds those relationships. And it's just a great feeling, man. So with that being said, I'm gonna walk over to Sub Level to grab some stuff. Uh, there's a little market by us as well, so we might grab some food there. But I will see you guys here maybe tonight or in a bit. I want to show you guys the room. It's ridiculously small. I think the bathroom is bigger than the actual room. So we are grabbing some food right here. This is a very different spot of Bangkok. I've never seen it like this. And it just looks... Oh. How much? Five. All right, guys, so we're going to head back to the hotel. It's actually quite busy. I really want to show you this room, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are finally back. I'm going to kind of bring you in there. Look at that, David Rock. So we're going to kind of check this place out. Some out exterior toilets, dishes. And here we are. All right, guys, so I don't mean to be close to the camera, but this is actually the room. So you can see behind me, like I don't have a real good way to angle this, but there's the bed. It's like a twin. And then you have like a little plastic table and this is it. Like, then you have like the back. This is a nice that we have a view. If we go to the bathroom, it's, I guess it's not bigger, but it's a standard size bathroom. Like, don't get me wrong, this is really nice because it's just us and we're here. We're leaving tomorrow, like four in the morning, five in the morning to catch our flight. But for now, I'm gonna grab this food, just got some water, some soda, and I'm gonna probably just call it an early day. Tomorrow we're gonna be in Vietnam and I already know I'm gonna be stressed just because all the honking stuff, I'm not ready to get back to that yet. And that's a big thing I like about Thailand is it's so quiet, it's much cleaner. I know this sounds like insulting, I'm not, I promise, but it's just a whole different world over there and I, I don't know if I'm ready for it yet, but I'm excited to go see some old friends, see my new friends, go to this wedding and... All right, guys, I did not forget about you, and we are here. You can hear it. I don't hear honky, but we are in Vietnam. So we're about to go head over to Tha Lot. I'm excited. You guys are going to see a Vietnamese wedding, which I think is going to be really dope. We're only out here for a month, so this isn't going to be a long trip. We just got to a bus station right up here, and we are heading out to Tha Lot. We're waiting about five more minutes. Excited to show you guys this wedding. So our first thing out in Vietnam is going to be this wedding in Tha Lot. After that, we're going to come back to Saigon maybe for a day or two, and then we're going to head over to Phan Thiet. And from there, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But either way, let's get on this bus. Hey guys, so we are out here at a truck stop. People smoke a lot here. And I think that's always been a thing in Vietnam. Living in like Thailand for like the last couple months, like smoking isn't really something you publicly do. Everybody here smokes. There's actually just at this bus stop, there's a bathroom inside. And there's a guy in there choking. Like he sounds like he's, he's dying going to the bathroom. And then he turns around to leave. He's got a cigarette hanging out now. So it's like, People still seriously smoke a lot out there. I, I don't understand why. Uh, what else is there? It's, it's loud. Like you hear all this honking. Like the bus. Like, they don't stop honking. Like, look at this guy. He just can't wait for the bus. The BMW, whatever, almost got hit by the bus. And then that bike like was like, I'm running into it. But yeah, people out here driving super crazy. These guys are honking each other like they're three wide. <laughs> One thing you don't miss about me though is the honking. We're about four hours away from the lot, so I think we're gonna have another stop. So I'll probably see you guys at another bus stop. But that's my thoughts so far. Let me know what, what do you think? There's a guy behind me. See you. What do you guys think about me though? What are the things that you've noticed that have changed since post COVID? For me, it just seems dirtier. More people, it, it's louder almost. Yeah, I almost forgot the uh, people are very pushy here too. Like like when you're in like Thailand, everyone kinda has their space. Like they give you your your space, but like you kinda see this like this this overrule of when I'm at this park out here. Like everyone's just pushing and pushing and it's crazy. Even getting onto this bus it was just like pushy to push it. So that is something I don't miss at all. These are just the differences in culture, but this what it is. So either way, I'll see you guys out in uh, a lot. 
Come on.